just so you know, it's my 40th today, and I am dreadfully fucking hungover. <laughs> we had a good night last night. I may actually have died. I'm not sure. I, I feel <laughs> dreadful. So you're like my radio show. I fucking it, it, died on the air every single week. So you're similar to <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you guys got laid last night? You got hungover, you were drunk. Which one of you guys got laid? Man, I... I stayed at his house last night. No, 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 It's very disappointing. Yeah. This very is the last time ever he's coming over. <laughs> well, you guys yeah. are rock stars. I, I'm anticipating that I'm going to get a rock star on that's going to have banged a mother-daughter, and the daughter's going to be a midget. The mother's going to be like 600 pounds, and that's the kind of rock stars I want on my show. I've, <laughs> I've, I've called them. It's just I'm not sure if I can get them over in time for the show. It was half hour. <laughs> oh, I'll I tell you what. If you get them, call them up. If you get them, and I'll put you on the show with them like in a future week. And if you have to pay for oh, them, like, if, you have, if you have to pay for the prostitution charges, I'm going to give you my credit card, okay? <laughs> well, to that. This is recorded. This is recorded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to dial you guys back up in uh, like – Five, six minutes before airtime, okay? So we can hang up now and I'll call you guys okay, back like maybe 10 minutes before airtime, okay? Okay. Great. Do you know the Dave Darren Show? It's not enough to boil a monkey's bum. Most people say, who the fuck is Dave Darren? Like Disneyland, I'm the happiest fucking guy on earth. Who the fuck is Dave Darren? Who the fuck is Dave Darren? Are you a poof duck? He used to be on terrestrial radio, but he got fired. It's over. Don't you think it's over? Who the fuck is Dave Darren? Here comes the bull's pillow now! Dave Darren. Drinking beer, my friend. Sorry. So how many views are we going to get? I just want to know how many people I'm embarrassing myself in front of. I'm also going to have to rush off in like 10 seconds to go and grab my drummer, who's about to turn up. Our drummer, rather, who's going to turn up as well. He's going to join us. Uh -huh. He's going to stick his head here. Oh, okay. Right, cool. <laughs> running, running, his, running on his head that he puts there. I don't mind. <laughs> so he's going to he's going to give you two guys head. Nice during the show. Perfect. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. He's very good at that. Hey, welcome to Dave Darren Show, guys. Uh, by, brought to you by Rock Solid Talent Entertainment. I got to thank those guys each and every week for promoting the show, sponsoring the show, and helping me with the bands to get you guys on air where you guys belong. Because we've been we've been fucking around with terrestrial radio too long. Terrestrial radio sucks. I do music video shows. I kind of started this like three months ago. So, by the way, we're going to be interviewing a lot of guys today. We're going to be interviewing. Uh, Red Light Revival. You see those guys right now, video wise. You see those guys, right? Wave, guys. Say hello. Hey, there, there, there we go. Red Light Revival UK. Very over. And they're from the UK, so it's kind of cool. I've had recently. I've had UK bands on. They're drinking some kind of funky beer. And by the way, we've also got Salt the Snail, who have called in. We are not going to see these guys till a future week. That I'm going to get their asses on video. But Salt the Snail's on. How are you guys doing? What's doing, Sam? Great. Great, great. Now, I, I checked you guys out. You had a great introductory video for the show. So instead of me doing my typical who the fuck is Dave Darren entry to the show, I'm going to have Salt the Snails track on. It's called Coffee. So for all of you guys that were out last night partying, stoned out of your minds with some hooker you just left out, or you, she left, and you're now you're worried to get penicillin. So you're, you're worried to get penicillin. You don't have enough energy to get out of bed. We're going to spin their track. It's called Coffee. So let me talk to Salt the Snake for a little, or Salt the Snail for a little while. How you, how you guys doing? You're in the UK too, right? Yeah, yeah, and um, Liverpool area. Cool, cool. So I got to ask you guys, Salt the Snail. Now I know you guys are in the UK. It's a smaller, you know, the UK compared to the United States is sort of like an island. So you've got a lot of water around the UK. So I'm imagining yeah. Salt the Snail, and, and I know you guys call potato chips crisp. I think you guys, yeah. if I'm right, you call a penis a snail. You're in the salt water in the ocean, so it's salt the snail means you're salting the penis. Isn't that what that means? <laughs> well, if you like to think that, we, we, we certainly wouldn't um, be too uh, offended if that's, that, if that's what you wanted to think. The actual name is uh, a reference to a, an American show called Always Sunny Philadelphia. Is that right? Well, so was, you know, it's funny. I'm from Phil I was born in Philadelphia. I better look this shit yeah. up. Right. 
Yeah, watch the show, it's brilliant. It's called Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and uh, that is, for me, is a reference to this show, and um, our band references a lot of our favourite things, our favourite music, our favourite shows, our favourite drinks, like coffee, our favourite foods, we reference all sorts of things, so we thought it would only be right to have our name as a reference to one of our favourite TV shows. Well, I thought I thought your favorite food would be snail because it's salt the snail, no? And no, I, our favorite food is probably pizza. Pizza. Um, but if someone offered us snail pizza, we might be willing to try it. And I thought I thought your favorite drink was supposed to be tea, not coffee, isn't it? Because I I know you know you guys should be drinking more tea because you know I I feel guilt I feel guilty because we took the Boston Tea Party and dumped all the UK's tea in the fucking ocean. So I feel I still feel guilty for that. So, well, you know, we, we still like we still like tea as well, but I think coffee is our Okay, okay, cool. So I'll tell you what, we're wrapping here real quickly with Salt the Snail, and we're going to play their track as the opening theme song to the show. Salt the Snail, it's called Coffee. The new opening theme song for the Dave Darren Show, and here we go. Salt peanuts, salt peanuts. the show guy there's three of you guys now how's it going <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah no i know we're uh christ i've had a head come out of my i've had a hand come out of my uh, my head there yeah we've got ben i play okay, keys we've we... got charlie he's the drummer yeah there he is in the back and there john... and we have john who's the guitar player cool cool guys so uh you guys are called what's the name of the band red light revival right red light Re red light revival yeah that's right Okay, so now what does that mean? I don't think I asked that during the preview, and it could mean one of two things. In the United States here, we have these red light cameras to take your picture when you go through a red light. So we don't want them, we don't want them revived, but red light districts in the United States are where you pick up hookers. So I know that everybody wants to legalize. Uh, oh, what? We want to legalize uh, prostitution in the United States. So red light uh, revival, I think we're behind that movement, right? <laughs> That 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 is certainly that is certainly one interpretation. Basically, despite Brexit, we are all very much about free movement of trade. So any anything at all, free hookers, hookers, free movement of hookers, anything at all. Basically, hookers up and down. Uh, so yeah, that's fine. So maybe that's what it's about. Maybe it's not. I couldn't possibly say. Just in case my mum's watching. <laughs> you know, who's the guy in the middle? I forget his name. The guy in the middle here. Charlie. Yes, Char I, I, I have a voice. I'm Charlie. Yes, I play drums. Charlie, you look like a great guy that if you stuck a wig on you, some boobs, and, and tucked in the penis, you could be out there making some money for these guys with legalized prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is how actually we first met, because basically John and I picked Charlie. And that's why, that's why we're still broke. Yeah. So you that's, got, yeah, you, that's why we're skinned. So you guys are really cool. I, I love having you on the show. We did a little intro for you guys, a little teaser for the show uh, last week, and we promoted you guys on the show. So uh, tell me what's going on gig-wise with you guys. I know you have music out there. I've got some of your great music we're going to play today. We're going to play. Uh, we're going to start it off with Hillside. Then we're going to play. Uh, then we're go we're going to end up with Flame, is I think the last song. And we have one in the middle. I think. Let me check it out. Uh, Standing in the Shadows is going to be your second song. So we're going to play three songs by you guys tonight. So tell oh, me, thanks, about, man. tell me about the music. How did you guys? Uh, how do you guys write your music? What do you do? What do you do? You, uh, have to drink a little bit, do a little weed before you write music. How do you write your music? 
drink, if drinking is if drinking is an essential part of life. It doesn't have to be involved with the with necessarily the writing songs, but I find it lubricates everything. Um, typically, me and the uh, me and me and the lead singer who can't be asked to turn up tonight because he's too big and important to do things like this. Um, basically, he and I he and I hang out, get hammered, and you know we write, we write stories. All of our songs are about, are about stories. Um, some of the things, some of the things that, that happened to the band or the people in the band, some of them were maybe just sort of thought up. Um, and that's it really, you know, it's all about, I mean, I think the thing with rock and roll is it's just all about trying to tell, tell, an, ent- tell an entertaining tale that basically involves women, booze, and occasionally some drugs. <laughs> there you go, that's cool. So let, let me ask this question. I see you guys in the videos, I see you guys when you're on stage. You do actually make sure you look good on stage. That's that's a cool part of of uh, music nowadays, and it's an important part of music to look great on stage as well as having a stage, you know, stage performance and stage presence. You gotta yeah. you gotta look good on stage too, right? You gotta look good for your fans. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, which is just, it's such a shame we're all like shit now. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. as I said, I'm forty today and I am hungover as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, it's not bad to be forty years old and hung. That's good. Hungover is <laughs> hungover is not good because what? Well, now, I, I guess it depends. Which way are you hungover? Are you hungover going into the downward position, or are you hungover going to the upright position? It's it, it's it's been a roller coaster so far, and uh, it's a bit of you back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back on this, so it's hair in the dock. So you know, I'm doing okay. But I, if, if I rush off, it's because I'm going to go and pray to the bustling god. So now, what, what kind of beers are you guys drinking? Hold up the beer. I never saw that brand or whatever it is. Hang, hang that uh, up. What have we got here? We've got Stella. Oh, is, isn't that... I think that's an Italian beer, isn't it? No, it's from Belgium. Belgium. Belgium, okay. I've had that before. I think there's a Italian thing that's called Stella. As well. I forget. I don't remember. I, I don't know. Peroni. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's all, it's Peroni, yeah. Yep, yeah, you know your it's beers. Right. It's, all, right. it's, all, it's all the same. Peroni gets you fucked up. That's all that really matters, you know? <laughs> so uh, when you guys are on stage and you're checking out the, the fans that are checking you guys out, what, what goes through your minds? Like, are you thinking we got to really rock this crowd with music they're familiar with? Or do you tease them with some new music you brought out? How do you bring out your new music to your fans that are accustomed to your current music? How do you introduce them to new stuff? That's good. That's good. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, at gigs mainly. We test them. We road test them to see how they go. Sometimes we road test them before we record. Sometimes we don't. Uh, I had a caller calling in, by the way. Oh, no way. What'd they say? What they want? Who are they? Oh, Who's I guess. Call? Was it Bob? I had them on there. Called Ben's the, mum. They're called the Brazen. You guys introduced them on the teaser, right? Hey! Get off the line! <laughs> but I think we lost them. They called in, and I think I lost them somehow. Let's see. If they call back in, I'll try to connect you guys. But they wanted to call in and say yeah, hello yeah, to you yeah, guys. They wanted to call in and say thanks for shouting them out last week. They're, they're a great rock and roll yeah, band. They're great good guys. Good yeah. guys. They're great friends of ours. Yeah, I hope they call. Most of them are great friends of ours. <laughs> so, and they're also from the UK. You guys are too. And last week's show, the band that was on, you're familiar with them. You guys, this is like a theme. I'm having a lot of UK bands come on recently. Well, we do great rock and roll over here, you know. The the US maybe the home of classic American rock, classic classic rock, but you know we do we, we do it well over here. We do it very well over here. Yeah, you know, you know, it's funny because I have I, I started off doing a lot of United States bands. I started off doing a lot of Arizona bands because I started off terrestrial radio in Arizona. But now I'm starting to see the energy of the bands in the UK is almost like surpassing and eclipsing our asses in the United States, right? It seems that way to me. I know we couldn't possibly say, you know, but uh, yeah. It's great. <laughs> it's great. It's great competition. That's good to hear, right? So, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to play one of your songs now because we've been rapping for, I think, 14 minutes. So, I, I want to make sure we give a shout out. Thanks for uh, Salt the Snail for coming on to do the opening theme. Thanks for you guys for being on the show. Now, don't go away. We're still going to talk to you some more. But I want to play some music. I'm going to play a song by you guys called Hillside. Hopefully, in the middle. I'll get the brazen to call back in, so I'll rap with them for like two or three minutes to say thanks for cool. uh, coming off from the UK as well. And then I'll play one of their songs called uh, Delusion, which is called by the brazen. So let's get to the music. We're going to come back and rap with you guys in the middle. Hopefully I can sandwich in the brazen as well. But for right now, let's... The brazen sandwich. 
But, okay. So for right now, let's play some of the music. And I'm going to slide this over so graciously as I always do. And again, the name of the song is going to be Hillside, Red Light Revival. And here we go, guys. I wanted you guys to secretly bust into the interview that I was doing with Red Light Revival, but I can't seem to connect you guys on Skype. Maybe it's a challenge I've got, or maybe it's a flaw in Skype, or maybe I need to upgrade, but <laughs> I can't seem to connect everybody together. So I wanted to have you on because they shouted you guys out last week. I don't know if you knew that or not. Uh, yeah, Ben tells me. Yeah. Oh, looks like I lost those guys. Are you still there? Oh, complications, guys. Stand by. Hang on. 
Okay, I'm back. I, I lost you for a second. You still there? I lost you. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, 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 there we go. I got it to work. All right, guys. Look at that technical challenge and glitches resolved. It was. How are you doing, Matt? How the fuck are you doing, You're like it. Yeah, man, not too bad. Not too bad. How are you? Oh, I'm for seeing your smiley fucking face, mate. <laughs> I know, you could, have, you could have made an effort to show that you're fucking ugly, but couldn't you? <laughs> so you this, what do you mean? You did make an effort. I shaved my beard off for you and everything. That's as good as it gets. <laughs> mate, I've got video of everything and things like that, so I don't need to cool. Actually, Ben did something really even special. He did shave his penis today for you as well as his beard. So I just... <laughs> <laughs> It don't surprise me. I've got, as I say, I've got videos of uh, Ben in a compromising scenario. <laughs> Let's go. 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 let us go 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 is it that way in the UK, and is that how you guys know each other? Do you support each other in a variety of gigs constantly, continually, once in a while, or how do you guys how do you guys meet each other, and how do you guys keep connected? Uh, I, I don't even remember meeting these guys. Who are you? I've never seen this man before in my fucking life. <laughs> no, we um, certainly never. The, break, the, break, break. the the, the, brazen, the brazen of this great fucking rock and roll band, but uh, I like all of them. The lead singer is an absolute fucking cunt. But um, um, the, uh, they basically, uh, they basically, we supported them. Oh, no, we didn't actually. No, we didn't support them. No, did no, 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 no. no we, play, we played the night after they played at a gig, and yeah. their, their bass player sound did, did the sound for us. Ossie Beer uh, Festival. Yeah. That was it, Ossie Tunnel. It, now, is the, is the sound guy a guy that you want to get to know? But, you know, in the United States, I'll tell you, some of our venues have great potential acoustics. Of course, acoustics is not going to work unless you have an acoustic gig going on. So you need the amplification. You need everything to be dialed in just right. So a lot of bands in the United States, they try to figure out which venues have the great sound guy, and they try to make sure that they play those establishments frequently. Now, now, so question for you guys. What happens, and I'll, each of you bands can answer the question, what happens when you know that a particular venue has a great c crowd, but the sound system kind of sucks? What do you do? You want to play to that great crowd that is a potential to be checking you guys out, but you know the sound's going to be not as good as you guys are capable to put out. So what, what do you do with those venues like that? Any idea? Do you want to get my we, we have we have played so many shitholes. It it, it it doesn't matter. You still play the same wherever you are. You know, we've played gigs where we've not even heard each other. Um, it, it doesn't matter. As long as it's as long as it's loud, as long as you you sold on it, it, it doesn't matter. If the sound better, if the sound is the, the PA is the business. Great, um, but you kind of know that. You feel off the ground earlier. Okay, and how about uh, Brazen? What do you do about that situation? You got a great banding, you got a great sound of your band. You got, you know that you're going to sound great at venues that have the sound system going really well. But but you're playing this venue. A lot of fans are going to be there. You know it's got a good following, but you know the sound's going to suck, and you don't want to sound bad. You want to sound as good as you can be. What do you do? Um, it's a difficult one to be to be. Frank, uh, we had our last gig we played um, was live in Barnsley, and uh, um, without being derogatory to people in case people hear this or whatever, but let, let's just say the sound wasn't the best. Uh, and, and to be honest with you, it, 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 it's quite putting a band when you can't when you can't hear each other, you can't, um, you know, it, it affects the chemistry between you know your fellow band members. So. It is difficult, but unfortunately, you know, you've got to take the rough with the smooth ones. Um, you know, you can't do a lot about it. But, but we would tend to avoid venues that have got horrendous sound, to be honest. We try to. Yeah. But, what you, you know. Yeah, what, here's another question similar to that. What do you do? You know, everyone today has got their cell phone. They're using them all the time. I'm sure they do it in the UK just like they do in the United States. So a guy... The guys out there or chicks out there recording your music, your set at the venue, 
with their cell phone. Now, the cell phones actually don't sound as bad as they used to. The video, video is cool. The audio is somewhat decent, but you're not going to get that great sound. And your product, no. your product is going out there to fans that are checking you out at these venues via people that have cell do you, do you want people to kind of shut, do you want people to shut the fucking yeah. cell phone off and just enjoy the entertainment? Is that kind of the thing that you do you get on no, stage? Fuck it. What do you do? If, if people if, listen, if people want to come to a, if, if people want to come to a gig and they want to come see live music, they want to record it. I don't care. I, I, I genuinely don't care. The unsigned unsigned music in this country, and I don't know, I don't know what it's like in the states. Is oh he's fucked off, right? <laughs> unsigned, unsigned yeah, music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. back again. He's like, yeah, he does. Yeah. Unsigned music in this country is it needs to have as many people chasing it and watching it as possible. You know, and if people want to come to a gig and if they want to record it, that's absolutely fine. I'm not into this fucking prima donna shit where people turn around and go, oh, you know, you're supposed to and enjoy the fucking night. Turn up and watch it and enjoy it. Yeah, Tiger's man. Tiger, if you can take a picture, Tiger, if you're going to put a video, let us know. You know what I mean? I've got a shitload of videos of Ryan. <laughs> okay, what Maybe do you have to do that? I filmed from the bushes. Most of you are ruining them. So now, when, when you guys play, on, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. When you guys play on stage together, what, what, and you do periodically, when you do, do you guys kind of work a set list together? Like, do you guys agree on, or, or is it kind of just your set, and you kind of don't worry about the mixing and meddling of each other's sets? You just do your own thing, right? Well, basically, as you said, you're right. You know, I mean. The brains are now the second best man in the league. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was cool. so, you know, um, you know, they, but, uh, they I, I think they like the followers, you know? <laughs> <laughs> now, it, I'm, curious, I'm curious, let me ask you this question. Is there, you know, in the United States, I've been shouting out to Phoenix, Arizona, and they fucking hate me in Phoenix, by the way, but I say that there's almost like, if there's a, if there's a rock band and another rock band, it's good to have some, it's good to have some competition to bring the music to the next level, but it's almost like there's so much competition in the United States that the bands don't support each other. So, how about in the UK? Is, is there competition? Is the healthy competition? Is it is it competition yeah. where it's just competition, but there is true support for each other? What's going on with that? I think it's quite. Uh, I think it's quite supportive in general. The music scene in the UK, um, you know, we're not. Sort of the same genre as Red Blood Revival, and then guys have been really supportive to us, and we probably better at the cross promotion than what we are as a band. But you know, there's, uh, there are bands out there who, like Black Sonic Revolver, are kind of ish similar to us, and Neon Dolls, who are again in the sort of same sort of genre as us. So it's not really competitive, but it is a bit of a community, the inside scene. But um, yeah. I think that's the way it should be. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's it. I mean, here in Leeds, we've got a massive community of, of bands, and most yeah. most of us know each other. In fact, most of us have played with everybody else's bands, I think, at one point. Um, but it's great. You, you get niches, you get cliques, you get that anyway, don't you? But generally, the venues, promoters around the cities around the North of England are all, are all pretty cool. Cool. I think we're going to be this together, you know? We're all going to be in this together. I think that's the vibe. Certainly, with the, with, with the guys in the league, and people like the Brez, you know, we, you know, the, you know, Ryan's on here tonight with us, and I think that's indicative of, of the sort of feel of how everything goes. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, I feel dreadful. Huh. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? What might be kind of cool is okay. So we got the Brazen on. We've got Red Light Revival on. Did you ever think of getting on stage and switching songs? Like, take one song for the Brazen and have Red Light Revival play it, and vice versa. Just to fuck around and see what can be done with each other's music. You ever think of doing? Because everyone's got to be creative these days. You got to be creative in the merch booth. You got to be creative at the venue. You got to rock the venue. You got to put on great stage performance and everything. Creatively, how about sharing the music and trying to see what can be done with each other's exchange of music? How about that idea, guys? I'd love to do it. It's not that way. I've got a video of Ben doing a version of uh, one of the brights. Um, it's called Broke Brewing. When he was sick, drunk. Oh, <laughs> hang on. Drop that again. 
Oh, God, I still have. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, I've got a brilliant video, actually. I'll send on to you after it. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Road to Ruin by the Raven. But yeah, I'll, I'll be able to give me one of your songs, boys, and I'll make sure I'll slot do it. Do you a video? Yeah, no, I'm up for that. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Yeah, Don't yeah. deal. Well, I want to, one of the things I really want to do, and I keep talking about this to Ryan, is one of the things I really want to do is I want me and him to write a song. And I want both bands to perform it. That'd be so cool. So you get to see the Brazen do the version of the song, and you get to see whether our revival do the version of the song. That'd be well, really cool. Yeah, I'm going to the territory there. Okay. Whoever wins. Whoever wins. <laughs> <laughs> whoever wins gets what? Like, what do they get? What do they get? What do they get? <laughs> I want to know what they get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, get a, they get a night with me and Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's right. <laughs> so I get so let's, that brazen sound you're talking about. <laughs> let's drop down to the brazen. The brazen. Give me the shout out to all the guys that are in the band because we already know who the guys are in uh, Red Light Revival. But who's in the brazen? Give me the instruments they play and who you guys are. Right, we've got. Uh, Shred the sound man, uh, who was alluded to earlier, he played bass for us, he's there, and how to describe it, um, yeah, he's Shred. Um, <laughs> Rob, Rob Clayton on rhythm and lead guitar, um, he wrote probably our um, um, most popular song, Laser Lips, so other than that, he's a bit like, you guys got Shameless over there, you can Shameless, USA, but he's a bit like Track Gun, he goes that. So you get a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Shay the like Frank Gallagher. We've got Adam the drummer, Adam Lada. He's a Adam's, uh, Adam's just Adam. He's a good lad, pain in the ass to come to his dramas. And then uh, we've got Ben, young Ben, an 18 year old boy with long hair, not too dissimilar to your day. Um, and, he, yeah, and, that, and, that, and that sort of stuff. All right, so let's let's ask the brazen. Who do you think out of Red Light gets the most the most chicks? Who gets who gets laid the most out of that band? Who do you think? <laughs> <laughs> who? What was that? <laughs> We're not hearing the answer. Who is it? Who? Bunch of virgins. <laughs> a bunch of virgins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, now revenge. I'm gonna say that because I'm actually sitting with a female, but the rest of them. God knows. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you guys get the re revenge. Revenge That's on That's a lucky you. challenge. Who, who gets laid most out of the brazen, you guys? Well, I'm like. fucking up. Who do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're going to know. Yeah, we're we're all 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 know. We all want to know. Come on. <laughs> all right, so what, one more quick shout out. I want to make sure that we know how to connect with Red Light Revival, how do we do that? Do we get on Twitter? What do you guys like the most on social media to get back to your fans? What, what's your quickest response time? Facebook or Twitter or how do you do it? Twitter, Twitter, Twitter all the way. We just fill up with so much shit. Uh, and Facebook for the important stuff, I guess. And occasionally Pornhub. Uh, Grindr, uh, Tinder, um, anything, yeah, anything. Whatever, if we can, whatever we can put it, we'll put it. Are you are you guys on uh, are you guys on cougarlife.com at all? Are you guys on cougarlife.com looking for cougars? You guys know what that is? I quite like them, but quite quite like could be a cougar actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and the brazen. How do we hook up with you guys? I want to make sure people connect with you guys as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> boys, um, we do try and sort of get the Facebook page uh, plugged as well. Um, we're very close to our first hours of our best for us, but we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't plug it too much. We'd like to get over that, uh, that channel. So, yeah, we're in fact. Okay, so now I want to do one thing. I want to shout out to another UK band. You can check them out because they've recently been on some UK radio. And they're also... Supported, We've gone. They're supported We've by... Gone. Just, oh, it's still out. Oh, did you lose us? But okay, so let me let me make sure we give a shout out to uh, to Rock Solid Talent Entertainment, who, who supports the show here. So in the meantime, we're going to play a couple songs by Red Light Revival and The Brazen. We're going to say thanks to you guys for joining the show. Thanks for trying to go out in split screen mode there. That was a challenge to do it, but I think we're going to try to make that work more in the future. But we're going to play by Red yeah, Light good. Revival. We're going to play Hillside. 
back to back with the Braves' delusion, and this is on the Dave Darren Show. Thanks, guys, for supporting my show because you came on it. Thanks for supporting each other because we just said that you guys support each other, which is really cool. And thanks for supporting music in general by standing by there. And thanks for giving everybody the finger on the Dave Darren Show. So let's check. <laughs> <it out. laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you all. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thanks for everything. See you soon. Cheers, man. And I said we're going to do back to backs. Let me drag this over. Close it. This is the track by Red Light Revival called Hillside on the Dave Barron Show. And here we go. Check this music out, guys. It's tremendous. Well, it was early in the morning It was just before dawn The street light was shining Red light on But if you don't want to be here Well, you better get gone And pack up your pieces And move on They can't escape the feeling They're just passing time But if they don't want to be here Well, they better get gone And pack up their pieces And move on Well, they're standing in the shadows of their own lives Standing in the shadows of time They're gonna get away from this bad And move on coming up they were just on the show thanks to them for joining the show as well along with red light revival and from the brazen we're going to play a song called delusional and here we go on the dave Barron show check these guys out they're going to be in a future show as well 
dust no matter who's been right or wrong It only matters that we're going strong Times will change and things may pass us by Sat between the lines God Make it fine Try to bring me down, you think I fall